In the spirit of the Yuletide, President Bola Tinumbu has approved a 50% slash in the cost of public transportation across the country. President also directed that all train rides across the nation will be free from today, December 21st, 2023, to 4th uh, of uh, January 2024, four days inclusive. According to the Minister of Solid Minerals, Mr. Dele Alake, while addressing State House correspondents at the presidential villa in Abuja late yesterday, he said the committee which he chairs had already met with all relevant transport bodies across the country and reached an agreement that the government will bear 50% cost of transportation. Let's talk about this and focus on rail now. And I'm being joined by the right person, the managing director of Nigerian Railway Corporation, Mr. Fidet Okiria, joins me via Zoom from Abuja to talk more about this. Good afternoon, MD, and compliments of the season. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to Nigeria and compliments of the season to Nigeria. We see them the best of the year coming. Indeed, interesting way to start uh, is the directive from the president. Uh, and I see uh, online, I've started seeing tickets. Free, free, free. Everyone is posting it. Everyone is excited. First, tell us about this and how you intend to implement this. Uh, we worked on this for the past two weeks and uh, yesterday to deliver. And uh, today, people started enjoying the, uh, I can, can I call it the benefit of uh, uh, dividend of democracy. And uh, that's what government is meant for, to provide for the convenience and comfort of the people. I will be part of government, the rail service, and we are very anxious to also contribute ourselves, our, our service to the benefit of Nigerians and Nigeria. So the only advice I will give is that people should ensure that they get their ticket online. As with, for these 15 days, we are not going to sell ticket at the station so that you ensure you, you have your ticket before coming to the station so you don't get stranded when you get to the station. Because we are not ready to uh, board people who hadn't gotten the, 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 the ticket to board to their respective, respective destination. And uh, we're also going to use that as a means of uh, security check. We are ready. I can say we are ready. We started this morning and we are ready. Uh, any particular routes or is it all routes that you ply? We need to also... All, get all the routes that we are presently working... Please, hi highlight them, we have, uh, MD. Uh, we have Itakbe to worry and back worry to Itakbe. We have Lagos to Ibadan and pass from Ibadan to Lagos. We have Abuja, Kaduna, and Kaduna to Abuja. And we have the popular mass transit train from Agbado, uh, Joko to Ido, uh, to Ido, and then to our papa. Hmm. You also said that anyone who does... Go, go ahead. You, you still want to make a point there? Yeah, that, that's where we are providing this service. Okay. And uh, we hope... That Nigeria will cooperate with us by not coming to the station without having their ticket on hand. Uh, how seamless is it uh, to get online tickets uh, at the moment? You know, we started this first of November selling tickets online, and we are we are getting better by the day. And as of today, apart from Ibadan in the morning, where uh, the the operator was finding difficult to uh, remove the price, but by before. It or thereabouts he was able to overcome that. I think they are, their security is very high and they need higher authority to do that, but they have done that. And we are good to go. So are Nigerians taking advantage of it? I'm sure you're getting fillers. Yeah, so uh, so far so good. Um, getting the fillers from my men on, on the ground. The director of operation will be in touch and talking and the station manager. So far we've not had issue. Uh, we have not had people coming to make trouble, say they must buy because it's free. It's free, but you have to do, at least ensure you have your ticket. We still need to capture people who are boarding the train so that we can have their manifest and know that you have seats. Uh, there, there are rooms for you so that you don't get the, the train over. Uh, no. So we just have to do it right. And uh, now government has provided and they promised us that they would give us foil, and we are working on that to get the, the foil that we operate for these 15 days. So with that, I don't think we have an issue.
Mm. Another very I interesting one there. I know we've talked a lot about security before now in most of our engagements. But, of course, it's the season where everyone wants to move. Uh, you, you Just bring us up to speed with what is playing out with regards to security. How, how, how what should Nigerians expect uh, going around the country this festive season? Very old. No, we, we, we've done our best. We've done the security provided and the, the federal security agency have opened up full trust. So they are prepared for us. What they're doing is cool, but we don't normally uh, start to start the, uh, broadcasting what we do. As I speak, I can see all the trains running on my phone. And I have the, uh, I have the app, app to, to check them. And we have the smart uh, radio that the driver can talk to station and driver can talk to driver. And uh, the GPS is also tracked. We have the trackers and others. So I think... Uh, uh, the, the, with the men on ground and with the uh, present situation we use in building our trade, I think uh, we, we, are, we are not uh, scared about uh, any issue happening this time. I'm also looking ahead. Uh, when do, let's talk about how Nigeria can be linked uh, all through rail. Uh, you know, we're still limited to some, some places or some locations. How long or how soon do you see Nigeria linking almost uh, the entire country via rail? So, uh, with the present enthusiasm, the present administration is showing to continue from where the last administration stopped. I think in due course, maybe the next 10 years will be there. Because uh, virtually every place has been uh, uh, considered. Uh, we have uh, an ongoing project, Lagos to Kano, which Ibada. Uh, to uh, 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 Lagos to Ibadansi segment and uh, Abuja to Kadansi segment, Kano to Kadansi segment. Right now, there are lane tracks between uh, Makafi and uh, Kano. They are almost in Kano and they are doing the formation work between Kaduna and Abuja. So we, we hope that Abuja will be linked to Kaduna while the uh, Kano uh, uh, DBR. Uh, session is also ongoing. The government is uh, seriously sourcing for funds to ensure that both the coastal and the eastern has, is covered, while the uh, narrow grade reconstruction is also, uh, also ongoing. By, I think, in two, three days' time, there will be a trial run on that between Port Harcourt and Napa. And uh, we'll early next year, we'll be able to start full operation between Port Harcourt protocol to our back once again, and why the construction of the narrow gate continues. The, 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 uh, I think day before yesterday and yesterday, there was an ongoing meeting to see how funds can be sourced by the contractors and the Minister of Finance and uh, the Minister of Transportation and ourselves. So the government is not relenting, and especially with the present position of uh, trying to make sure that funds so, and a lot of uh, foreign direct investment and all not not is being encouraged to come in. We are, we are, we are leaving our, our door open for those who think they can support. Because we, whether we like it or not, we need uh, to have the rail system in the country. Because we don't think we can develop commercially or economically without a good logistical uh, system in place. And the heart of logistics is rail. Really because of his uh, capacity to move and, uh, people uh, in mass and uh, goods in bulk. Mm. So w when we have it in place, once you finish it, you cannot repeat it. You just you continue to maintain it. And I think that is the way to go. Gradually, we will get there. If we continue with this speed, I think 10 years we will get the place meaningful. And uh, uh, the present problem we have that we are not delivering, somebody going to Carlo. Uh, it's not encouraged enough to take his load to Ibadan, use rail, and go by road. So, but if you now get to Kano uh, direct, you see the, a lot of these uh, vehicles that are pulling the road and making us spend money year in, year out on the road will be off, and that money will be preserved and be used for other things. Mm. Uh, however, we are trying to see how we can make the narrow road work from Lagos to Kano. Okay. We have done. Uh, uh, not just a little spot where we this is secure between uh, Mina and Kaduna, 
But as of yesterday, my men had gone back to work to fix the vandalized track, and sooner than later, we will start going on the narrow gauge to Kano. At least, but if it's free, it's alone, that would be meaningful. Mm. Uh, well said. Uh, yes, it, it's the end of the year, and of course, I know we've had discussions earlier in the year about safety of even the coaches and the tracks, saying that people need to take ownership of this. Moving to 2024, what would you be telling uh, Nigerians considering these investments? Because I would say uh, how lucrative is a public-private partnership for our rail system at uh, this time? So it's like a two-in-one question. What's happening with the security of our tracks and coaches? Are people taking ownership now? And how lucrative still is this business in this country? So we, we are still uh, preaching to them to take ownership. And with this, uh, uh, this is the second time we are doing it, riding, uh, providing free train service. We did it two years ago and we are doing it now. And uh, we hope with this, those uh, people feel that it was meant for like uh, We know that the government cares and they will also now have sympathy on government and so they don't go start vandalizing uh, what we have on ground. It is for them, it is not for a general area. Uh, the railway is not for the minister, it's not for the president, it's for Nigerians to make use of and get the benefit of having a working rate. We will be trying to, the money we spend on providing security can be used for, for something that is that's what I'm telling people. Now that the government is uh, showing a, a good face and uh, showing that they are listening to, to the voice of Nigerians, I think Nigerians will listen and also have sympathy on government and protect what is their own. Uh, looking forward, we are thinking 2024 will be a better year, and uh, uh, we, we are, it's almost like a, a pilot working now that we are stable and steady, and we continue to improve in what we do, start by getting the belief that it can work, and I think they are key in, and I, I just, that they should keep hope alive. 2024 will be better than 2023. And I know in our system, 2023 is better than 2022. So we are looking forward to a good new year, a, a, a prosperous a, a new year, and uh, all things being cool. We, I think Kano, Kaduna will come upstream very soon. And no time will be extended service from Port Harcourt to Enugu within the year 2024. Um, that is maybe small funding will be very special to link it up with our mm. that, that, that sounds very good. I, I talked about investments also uh, in rail. Uh, how attractive yeah. is it? We, 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 we have developed what we call the track access framework. The only way to also prevent vandalism. Back. So if they provide Lagos State are able to provide rolling stock and they decide to run every 30, 30 minutes, mm -hmm. we we'll do our program to be that 30, 30 minutes. Why it will not allow? Because mm -hmm. proper program that you're doing, we ensure the, the, the interstate we are doing will not be affected and the and the and the freight train will also not be affected. So that is the way to go because the cost of building a track is not easy. Well, people can bring in their rolling stock and operate with an understanding. Uh, we have done that and we are sharing some more people for to put their uh, input and contribution so that it will be win-win for everybody. Win for government, win for Nigeria, Railway, win for the people of Nigeria, and win for the uh, possible investors. Mm. Probable investors. Before I let you go, uh, I'm thinking about uh, this movement of petroleum products via rail. Uh, many would say that might be the way to go. Our uh, roads, we see what happens, tankers, explosions, lives and properties. Uh, I've been to somewhere in Apapa where I saw those tracks and I said it used to uh, be functional before now. Uh, is that going to happen again anytime soon? Yeah, we are working on it. You know, we have people that have track farm and they have access, real access into their yard. Yes. So that's why we, 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 at that time, we encourage and uh, have track, track, uh, track farm 
uh, our land power power within the radio station. So we are still working on it. The 40 tank wagons we brought is among those we are trying, to, we are putting back to use. Right now, the mechanical department is looking into it and bring them back to service. We have some people who have come to make an inquiry on it. And some of them say we want to be moving from a part, from a part, part to Shobu. So we are working seriously to ensure that the wagons are fit uh, because it's a very delicate product and to ensure we are able to deliver those things. So we hope sooner than later uh, people will get into it. We have 40 compressed uh, compre uh, compress tank wagons that can take uh, 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 44 liters of uh, 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 light product or uh, like diesel. So we are right working, working on them inside our workshop to bring them to fitness and uh, make them uh, fit to travel. So finally, in line with President Bola Tinumbu's directive, what more do you want to tell Nigerians about this free ride, this train ride, this time? So I just uh, uh, that they should cooperate with the government, cooperate with Nigerian Railway, and not be rowdy. Uh, you don't say because it's free. It's free, but still get your tickets so that I can capture you on, uh, and uh, uh, so be able to board. They, they should cooperate by not coming to the station without tickets and try fighting to board, uh, to board the train. So, uh, that would not be good for, for, for every, any, anybody. So I'm begging them to please obtain your tickets before coming to the station so that it will be seamless and smooth to go uh, to enjoy uh, this holiday for so that I don't have costs. So regret what we are trying to do. I must thank you so much, Managing Director, Nigerian Railway Corporation, uh, Engineer Fidet Okiria. Thank you for taking us through this development. And we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in advance. I wish you the same, and I wish Nigeria a prosperous New Year. Thank you, and Merry Christmas in advance. All right, there. Well, coming up on the show, we'll understand Nigeria's business climate. I mean, reports from international agencies. Yes, World Bank, IMF, everyone is coming up with reports. Nigeria, Nigeria. Well, an economist and research professor, Dr. Andrew Nevin, would be joining us after this break to continue this discussion. Don't go away. It's Business Nigeria. Their voices were echoing through time itself. We haven't done anything. If the, the tide is high, everybody run for safety. Their tears leave a sweet, sour taste for all. Their demands, a familiar call beckoning for change. In our world, no one expects a disaster to happen. But when it does, we'll be there to x-ray all sides. From the east 